Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So it's finally happened. YouTube has officially become a full-blown media company. And this is something that we knew was coming and that they have really been planning on. And all the technology companies, not just YouTube, Amazon, iTunes, any of these uh, technology companies, they actually want to be their own media company. You know, they want to be a network. They want to be a cable company. You know, uh, and with Google, it even goes further as they also want to be your internet service provider if you have Google Fiber in your area. And so that is their long term strategy. You know, they want to take on the big cable companies first. And then maybe later on, even take on some of these big networks as well. And so YouTube TV, um, it will be coming out soon. We're not exactly sure when. You could always uh, email and put in your zip code to find out. And it is $35 for one month. And what's really interesting about it is, you know, it will allow you to watch live TV. And, you know, this has been done before on other services like Sling or PlayStation View. Um, or even uh, with Direct Now TV network, and it's nothing new. However, the way in which YouTube is doing it is new. First and foremost is what you're actually getting. Okay, so for this price, you're gonna get this right now, and maybe more here. They say Showtime is extra. However, what's really interesting is you get unlimited storage. Okay, so you're not limited by that. Okay, and then for uh, that one. A service that you pay you can have up to six different accounts and you could record three different shows at the same time and what's really great about this is you know the way that Google and YouTube likes to work is you're able to watch your content anywhere as long as you have an internet device you know and more than likely this particular YouTube TV app is going to be integrated into YouTube itself that's what my guess is and so that means regardless of which platform that you're on or which type of device you are going to be able to watch your live tv and your recorded shows anytime anywhere and the fact that it is unlimited dvr storage space is simply awesome you know and i really love how google is putting in the whole accessibility and unlimited aspect that is a really huge key selling point now how they're going to deliver this and whether or not this is going to be something that is really viable versus the existing cable uh, providers out there that's yet to be seen but with anybody who has cable you know a lot of people including myself i've already cut the cord on cable for a long time now um, i'm more interested in internet based services like netflix or youtube and you know with youtube tv coming out it's going to add another addition you know a lot of people already have amazon prime accounts as well or they also have other services like hulu and so forth so more people are accustomed to going that route versus cable. I really think if YouTube does this correctly and at the same time that they leverage it right, then they will be a really big player. Now also there's another side benefit as well and there's the potential upside for content creators like myself. And so one perspective is you could look at it and say, well, you know, if you're introducing this, well, it might take away viewership from specifically YouTube but I don't think that's the case okay uh, with YouTube specifically Google they have so many different properties I think it's gonna make sense that if you are watching YouTube TV and they're also showing YouTube content by independent content creators myself we're gonna get more exposure because at the end of the day YouTube is not going anywhere uh, people love watching content creators uh, that are independent and that they're creating content specifically for their audience and that's not something that these big networks can do that will actually um, you know create content for every single type of viewer whereas YouTube there is a specific type of content creator for every type of person out there and so overall I think this is really 
potentially a really exciting thing that's going to be coming out. It will shake up things. And you know, with Google, they've tried so many things and not everything works. But the difference is Google actually doesn't quit. They keep trying. Okay. So like uh, with Google Fiber, even though it's not expanding as much as it used to, um, they have already made their mark showing these other bigger companies, these other communications, telecom, cable companies that, hey, you know, there is going to be another alternative. And now with YouTube TV, it becomes really serious for these other cable companies to really look and make sure that they're providing more value than what YouTube and other providers might offer in the future. And so um, with all of that, you know, if you had any thoughts on YouTube TV or any other services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, iTunes, whatever the case might be, leave it in the comments area below. And I also like to know if you are a content creator, what your thoughts are on this as well. As always, if you did enjoy these videos, you got a lot of value out of them, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors all the information in the description area below thanks for watching i'll see you in another episode thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode